favorite things is meeting and featuring local artists. Heidi Glaus introduces us to a woman making cool jewelry out of brass. In a cute home studio in Dogtown, Chelsea Helligy is smashing most of the plans she made in college and sketching out a different picture of her future with fable and lore. Like, I didn't care what I started making, I just like wanted to start making something. After a few years in the corporate world, she needed a creative outlet and started making jewelry in her spare time. Over a few years, you know, I was like selling more and more and, you know, like my job was less and less secure, you know? <laughs> she eventually took the plunge and decided to make beautiful fashion accessories full time. Yeah, that's working, I'm here. <laughs> they are necklaces, bracelets, and earrings that have evolved over the years. Yeah, I used to make really wonky stuff. When she got serious, she took a metalsmithing class at Craft Alliance. <laughs> It's not crafting, it's a craft and it's very complex and you'll never stop learning. You can dedicate your life to it and you won't know everything. But she knows what she likes and it seems to resonate with customers. What I'm really into is like these kind of collar necklaces. Um, they're really trendy, you know, these past few years. Beautiful brass necklaces. She wasn't a fan of at first. I remember like the first time that I saw them kind of coming in, I sort of balked at them. I'm like, oh, what is up with this? But you know, then I'm like, wait a, wait a second, those are awesome. <laughs> Each piece starts a little differently. Sometimes I sketch stuff. Sometimes I sketch a lot of stuff. Sometimes I'm just like arranging pieces of junk that and like little cutouts and scraps that I have and just seeing like what they look like together. And sometimes I'll like see something somewhere like a pattern on a building or you know just like wherever and I'm like that's cool and just kind of we'll try to take note. Not everything she makes is wearable. She recently started making cool bar spoons. And this is the shorter one. I call it the sipper. Some things take hours. Others, she can finish in less than 30 minutes. People think I'm kind of just like messing around, like having like a great time all day. And like, maybe I am, but like, I'm also like, ah, I stress out too much. I stress out a lot. Because this is now her full-time job, one she does quite well, using old techniques to create fun new pieces that add just the right touch to any wardrobe. She makes so many cute things. Fableandlord.com is the website. You can check out her most recent pieces on Instagram. She'll also be at May's Night Market at the Ready Room on March 30th. Heidi also discovered one of Chelsea's secrets for cleaning brass and copper that it might surprise you. She uses a mixture of salt and vinegar, but when she's on vacation or in a pinch, she uses ketchup. Little ketchup packet and then just like squirt it, you know, like onto like your hand and then just like run the piece through it, kind of massage it for a minute, rinse it and it's like so clean and shiny afterwards. Okay, great tip. 